So here, first I want to check the count in our previous thread query. So select count into lv underscore local variable count one, which I have declared here lv underscore count one. Okay, I want to check the number of records in this table, and here we can write from our table name it underscore matnar. Okay, and here like if lv underscore count one is greater than zero, then if is greater than zero, then and we can write here end if. Okay, so we'll perform all the operations, all the remaining tasks only if record found in the it matnar table. Okay, so next I want to select the price details. So let's say it underscore price equals to here select a dot always first mandate field a dot mandate then a dot matnar a dot vk org. I am selecting from a three zero four, which I explained here uh, earlier. VTWEG Then next field I want from A304 is Date PI That is valid to date Then I want to select KN UMH field And after that From the KONV table I will select KB ETR Okay, from A three zero four as a inner join K O N P as B, and then here add the on condition on both this table on A dot mandate equals to B dot mandate that is client field. And a dot k n u m h equal to b dot k n u m h. Here the join field on both the table is the k n u m h. This is the conditional record number. This is the join field, important join field. Okay, but now this time we want to make a more more inner join with the previous table that is i t underscore matnar. Okay. All for those record will select the data. So here we'll write inner join that is it underscore it underscore matnar. Again, add all the join condition a dot mandate equals to it underscore matnar dot mandate and A dot matnar equals to it underscore matnar dot matnar, and then next field is vkorg, and a dot vkorg equals to that is sales organization equal to it underscore matnar vkorg, and then next field is a dot vtweg. That is distribution channel equal to it underscore matnar dot vt weg. Now here the, again the important point where a dot date bi that is valid to is greater than equal to current date. The current date we have selected in lv underscore date. Fine. So till now, what we have done, we have selected data from master data from Mara and all, and then we have selected pricing details. Okay. Now we'll select the data in the final result table. 
okay first i will build a result table and then we'll update let's say it underscore result equal to now we have to select the field in the same sequence in which we want to update so we will select the fields from both the internal table that is metal master table and pricing table in same sequence mandate matnar wiki or g okay like this in same sequence you have to select the data hmm? from this table by making an inner join so here it underscore results equal to select it underscore matnar dot mandate this first field i want in my result table second field here i want that is matnar third field i want to select for data updation is the vk org and then the next field i want here distribution channel vtweg after that from the matnar table i want to select matcal that is metal group and after that the next field is maktg the same internal table and now finally i will select the data from my price table that is it underscore price and the here the price field is kb atr kb atr is the price of from it underscore matnar inner join it underscore price now all the way all the on condition joining condition on it underscore matnar dot mandates equals to it underscore price dot mandate and second field is matnar it underscore price dot matnar then third field i want to select as vk org it underscore matnar dot vk org because the, in the sales table the pricing are maintained based on the sales area and the next field is vtweg it underscore price all these are a joint condition okay this is the last condition so check the error here fine now no error let me just save okay still it is giving like error this is not used because i want to insert data into this fine so before insert what i will do every time before inserting the record first i will delete the data from i will delete the data from this table for that particular material okay first i will delete the data and then i will insert the data okay so till now i done data selection now let me first delete the data and then insert so here what i will do I will write delete from z matnar underscore price first i am selecting deleting data okay where matnar equals to ip underscore matnar first i am deleting the data from database table for that particular material which are passing as a input okay and after that i will write the insert code insert into z matnar underscore price select all from our internal table it underscore result okay this is how this syntax will work what i am doing we have all our data in this it underscore result right and 
as I explained, mention all the fields in the same sequence as per this database table. First, I'm deleting the record, then I'm inserting in the same table, custom table. Fine. So what we have done, just recap. First, I added interface, then created one static method with IP underscore matna as input, declaring some local variables, selecting today's date in LV underscore date, select all the master data, Mara, MAKT, MVKE. If records are greater than zero, then select the pricing. One more if condition you can add before this, as assignment you can add that here. Okay. And then finally, delete and add the record. Now let me save, check, and activate this. Okay, so this is activated, and currently, no records are there. So what I will do for the first material, we get 12. For this material, Currently, the price is 1350. Object is locked. Let me unlock this object first. SM12. Select the record. And delete. Okay. So now it is activated. Now let me execute this. Now here I'm executing from ADT. I will enter my price S201. Execute. Okay, go back to SAP table and check the record. See here, we can see two record because there are two sets of organization for that material. Okay, so one record we can see here 15 and second here we can see the 1350. So now what I will do, I will just change the price quickly here. Instead of 1350, I will make here as 950 for this sales area. Now again, if I execute this, again, if I execute this class for the same material, S201, check the data in the table, sorry, not here, see here, in the next run, it is updated 950, the first system is deleting the record and then inserting the new record in the table, fine, now let's Check the same in the debugging mode. Okay, how to activate a debugger? In this class, double click here, one breakpoint. Second, I'm setting here 47. Third, I'm setting at it underscore result. Okay, this time I will execute for some other material. So F8, execute. Let's say S202. Now, if I execute this, see a breakpoint is triggered. On the right hand side, we can monitor, monitor the value. So, input material is S202. Here, press F6. See, IT might not two records because two cells are there 6001, 1710. Again, press F6. See the LV underscore count is equal to 2. Like this, we can debug with ADT. Again, press F6. See LT price 1 record because only LT price 1 record. Here we can see only for this sales of 6001, this 500 record is there. Again, press F6. In result tab, also 1 record. Delete. Insert the new record. F8. Okay, terminate this. Go back to SAP table and just refresh. See the third record. This material is extended only for this sales log. Pricing is maintained only for 
6001 that's why here we can see single pricing but here for the two sales swap fine so in this way we will learn how to perform insert and delete operation through the amdp class thank you